Hello guys, welcome back to the Domain Racer and we are starting the video series about LMS system. So in this video, we are going to complete the three operations. First, purchasing of the system. Second, installation of WordPress. And third one, installation of plugin that we are using for building an LMS system. So LMS systems can be used for building the courses, taking a live classes and getting all other operations that we can able to do deliver the online content. So let's begin. Very first we need to go to the bottom and here we need to purchase the system. And in this case we are going with the single website. So click on buy. In this case I will choose domain racers review and use it because I already have a domain. But if you wanted to purchase a new, you can able to purchase from here. Click on use. Okay. If you wanted to change a currency, you can change from here. And here you will find the three add-ons. In this case, you have to make sure that you should click on private video solution. Second, LMS Pro. And third one is LMS system setup. It is the technical team of Domain Racer that helps you to install entire system and make you live. So for that they will charge a one time cost. So in this case we are doing this video series to complete this operation by ourselves. So it is not necessary to click on this. And now you have an option of yearly and click on continue. So in this case you can able to see that in our card we had successfully added LMS Pro, Tutor Pro and Video Private Label System and click on continue. After that you have to complete this form, select your desired payment gateway and accept the terms and condition and click on continue and complete your payment. Once the payment has been completed, we can able to start using the service. So in this case, we had chosen a domain called as a domain review and we had already a domain. So in this case, I did just need to first get the name servers of the service. So how to get the name servers? You can be able to go to the service sections and here it is our plan. Click on this. If you scroll down, you will find the name servers here, ns1 dot, ns2 dot and ns3 dot. You just need to copy this name server and go to your domain register and update that. If you don't know how to update this, here it is the link given. And here there are many domain service providers are there. If you wanted to know about GoDaddy, Namecheap, one and one domain racer, you can able to watch the videos as for your domain register. If still have a problem, you can able to contact domain register to get the support. Once the name server update, it might take 24 hours to complete the name server process. And in this process, we had already completed that. So now here it is the dashboard of domain racer LMS Pro hosting. This is a combo of hosting, premium services, SaaS applications and one-stop solutions for your LMS system. So in this case, you can able to see very first option is premium SEO tool. This is the best feature the domain racer is offering to their customers. And you can able to see that it is of cost $49 per month and it is already included in your package. So if you wanted to access it, you just need to click on access now or there is video available on the internet. You can able to go and watch the video of SEO default to understand how to use the SEO tool. And here we have already activated our premium YouTube video solution while purchasing a service. So now here in this video, we have completed our the overall part purchase and understanding of the service. Now we have to log in into cPanel. But before that, make sure that name servers has been updated. So it shows that it is a fresh hosting. Now we have to go to the cPanel. Okay, once you are in the C panel, you just need to scroll down to the bottom and look for the option called as a WordPress. Okay, before that you have to install a SSL certificate, but it is not necessary if you wait for four to five hours after name server update process because domain tracer is totally AI driven application. So it will automatically install SSL certificate. Now click on install now and here choose the latest version and here I will choose the last option the domain tracer dot review and the directory should be empty. If you enter the directory, it will install like domain tracer dot review slash XYZ. So we do not want it to do that. We just wanted to install on our own domain. So in this case, the 
directory should be empty and here we can able to give the names and all we will cover this in the next part and here enter the username so for demonstration i will enter a username called as a domain register and the password we will generate it so this is our password so i will make a note of it here it is our password and username now the next part enter your email id and go to the bottom and choose this option because we wanted to secure our wordpress now scroll down and here you can able to choose your theme now just click on install option okay congratulations our installation of wordpress has been completed now we will move further for the installation of lms tutorial pro for that we just need to log in into our wordpress once you are logged into your wordpress dashboard you have to go to the plugins and add new plugin and here you have to search for the plugin tutor lms you will find the plugin name called as a tutor lms e learning and online course solution here you have to click on install now okay installation of a plugin completed now click on activate you will get this screen you just have to click on i already know skip this because in this video series we are going to complete entire part and if you go to the bottom of this tab here you will find the get pro version so in this case it is a free lms tutorial plugin but we want it to be a premium one so for that you have to again go to the domain register dashboard and we had already chosen add on called as tutor lms pro and it is activated you can download it from downloads option here it is a download option it is only available for lms users so you can able to click on download now click on save and you can able to see that downloadation of the completed now we will go to the, our domain racer wordpress dashboard now here we have to again click on plugins and add new plugin and here we have to click on upload plugins and select your plugin and click on open now click on install now now time for the installation of plugin so in this case we have to go to the c panel and click on file manager once you are in the file manager click on public underscore html and look for a folder called as wp content and in that go to the plugin section here you need to click on upload option and choose the downloaded file so in this case here it is the file click on this you can see the uploading has been completed successfully now refresh this option you will find the name here click on extract and click on extract file after that refresh the button now open this folder right click on this and click on move here remove the name and keep up to plugins slash and click on move file now go back and delete this file also you can able to delete this because you have already a backup on your local machine now go to the domain tracer dashboard our this part and this part has been completed successfully so we can able to close the tabs now go to the plugins and click on installed plugins here you can able to see that upgrade to pro here you can able to see that get pro version so in this case just install this plugin so you have to click on activate now activation of lms pro has been completed successfully and our tutor lms has converted into tutor lms pro so in this case we had completed our installation of wordpress tutor lms pro installation now it is time for configuration and understanding of tutor lms pro that we are going to cover in the next video